As young black South Africans who navigate a predominantly Western world, what does it mean to celebrate our traditional African values and the things that belong to us? Because throughout history, the black person has become a shell, a shadow, drowning in loss, bearing the trauma of not being able to remember, or speak, or even exist. Over the past couple of years, I've put myself in spaces where I'm trying to break the mold and redefine who I am. I want to resist all those years of history still continuing today where black people are told that they're backward, savage, and inferior. You see, when I look at my family, my mother and father separated when I was one. I then lived a life where one side of my family was strictly Christian and attending church and Sunday school were definitely not up for debate. Whereas my father's side is where I was exposed to the traditional side of things. But to be honest, even at a young age, these different worlds were confusing and I've constantly wondered, can ancestral practice and Christianity work hand in hand or are they truly incompatible? So now I've decided that the only way to find this out is to go on a spiritual journey and try piece these different worlds together for myself. When I arrived at the university currently known as Rhodes, I would say that making friends was not always easy and when I did, you know, I, I wanted to make friends who I could often confide in. Nontle is one of those people. She pretty much knows everything about me, right down to how not having had our fathers present in our lives has affected us, as well as the difficulties we face as black people. Nontle has been there to truly experience things that I can't even express in words and that's that's why I can say that she's like a sister to me. Okay, anyways, my friend, so I'm going home in 10 days. No, nine. You're going for what, like a week? Two weeks, dog. Two? Yeah. How well? Anyways. No. At least, like, you know how, like, we were talking about how, like, the visions were quite deep last year. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely something that was channeling to mm. me. Whether that was God, or whether that mm. was my ancestors, or whether it was both. Yeah. It's still something I'm trying to reconcile at the moment. I think this, like, separateness that we've, like, put to, like, God and ancestors, yet we have saints and angels and there we all go. of these, like, funky things. Yeah. Like, who's to say, when we say ancestor, and this is what I'm saying, like, the, 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 the politics of naming. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because when I say ancestor, or when I say I'm speaking to my ancestors, am I not saying, inadvert inadvertently not saying, I'm speaking to my angels? I also need to be honest with mm. myself and say, mm. Tingo, if it is your ancestors calling, that doesn't mean you must let go of your mm. Christian beliefs or who you mm. want to be as a woman um, in terms of career developments and so forth. Yeah. We just come back from the joint department, either we were sleeping or we were working in our beds. Ah, and then Tingo just started... She, I just heard several whoo, and I was like, you okay there, Branch? And she was, and then uh, five seconds later, there's Tingo there. And we lived in a, like a little small apartment. Tingo was just like pacing up and down, pacing up and down, clapping her hands, clapping her hands, stomping her feet, stomping her feet, stomping her feet. I think it lasted for like an hour. It was intense and I'd, I'd never, I suppose, seen it. But because I'd been so aware of like her gift, you know, I wasn't like, ah, ah. but obviously for Tingo, it's not that easy because she, her Christ, because of her Christian faith, right? So then there's a, there's a tension between those two because for somebody like me, I'm like, yeah, girl, 
you need them beads on, you need those beads, right? And then she's like, and then her pastor's like, the devil's work. I've been talking and thinking about this journey for quite a while now. But it's real. It's starting and I, I now have to confront some of my discomfort. And I have to see whether these so-called contradictory beliefs could possibly fit together. And perhaps on this journey I have to be brave and ready to challenge people that are important to me, like my pastor, my mother and my grandmother on their spiritual beliefs in order to find my own way and what that means to me. I probably look like a hot mess because it's been a 12 hour journey but we are finally in Joburg! So I'm excited to see my mom and my family and my friends and the journey starts now. It's real, it's real. Yeah, welcome to Joburg. I'm good. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Woo! Making my way to Mount Zion reminds me of how grateful I am to my mother, who as a single parent has raised me and my siblings in the best way that she could possibly. Even though waking up at seven in the morning for Sunday school may have felt like a chore, I'm grateful for the lessons that I gained. But the conversation I'm about to have with my mother makes me feel as though I'm wrongly questioning the way that she raised me as a Christian. But finally, we lose again. Mm -hmm. You grew up with Christianity only. I must say, well, you guys didn't do that. You didn't. You didn't go. In, you didn't get yourself involved in rituals and customs and so forth. But don't you? Don't you think that sort of hasn't given you a benefit of understanding the African culture? Oh, cool. We are born with. Oh, okay. Muto ana maevela. Usatwa imbuzi kwenzi imbelego. Imbesi jalo kuto. Okay, so like practices like Ubungoma, would you do you think that those African practices would be demonized based on how you grew up? I think what you are saying depends on your knowledge. Mm. If maybe I was exposed to those who are helping people in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, maskula, ne Christianity, ne religion, it's no call. Sasi jukuti sango, mawe mawe ala payana, yula ndi mite mibi, ya tagatwana. So that is why kuba kona lento yomwa yogutu kuna kutu dimoni pagati, kuna kutu satani pagati. Because azanya sizo ubu sega kuhu. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah, 
Today I'm going to see Coco and generally she's been an incredibly open and understanding person. I constantly learn a lot from my grandmother. But today I feel as though I'm overstepping that boundary because I'm a child and you know, are we allowed to even question our elders? Is it okay? I don't know. I I just hope that I don't say anything offensive. Patricia. Coco. So the other day I was with mom and she explained to me who Tiana when she grew up she was they, basically all of the children it had, had to be Christians. Yes. So I mean I mean from was it like where did this history of Christianity come from? And when did you say to like when did the family say Uti, I'm a sigo and African cultures no more? When did that start? It started when my uh, my, 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 my mother-in-law, mm. when I got married, and then when I went to their place in Natal, mm. I only find that she was a Christian, always praying. Okay. And she went to a church called um, African Gospel Church. Mm. Mm. Then, she, then when she went to the church, they decided not to mm. When they read the Bible, the Bible it mabanga. She decided to do it. I could have been a Christian. Okay, so what do you think about Ubungoma? Can, do you believe in Ubungoma and you, would you go to a Sangoma? Most uh, Christians are as Sanganese in Ubungoma. Okay, so I've been told twice that I'm a healer. Mm. Yes. Twice. And I was like, mm, I don't know. And I thought, okay, maybe this is coming from the Dube side. Yeah. But if we're going to, if, if we're going to say that I'm a healer, then don't you think that I could easily confuse it, confuse that with Ubungoma? You can easily confuse it with Ubungoma because mm -hmm. I've got that gift. Really? Ha, Coco, I didn't know this. I've got that gift. It's in the year when I'm 75 years old. Yeah. But I ask myself, okay, in church, I use it in church. Yes. And now it, 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 yeah, it I, I can't even tell my elders it mm. change because they because they're gonna judge you. If, yeah, or... judge and all that. Mm. But me mm. and and I'm not surprised my way na Here I am looking at my grandmother and realizing that not all old people have all the answers. In fact, she's dealing with a similar spiritual dilemma that I am. And I guess our biggest fears are, are dabbling in more than one belief and being judged by others. Okay. And then Kokomina, I'm left handed, so. Oh my god, that's worse now. <laughs> left handed Gonje, yo, 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 I get. Today's church service is in celebration of Father's Day. And every year, Father's Day is always a bit of a difficult date for me. It's a reminder that I don't have a good relationship with my own father. And I think for people who are in a position similar to mine can, can often find themselves in destructive situations where you know, they look for father figures in other men. But I guess in my situation, I've been somewhat lucky because I've been able to find that father figure within my own church. Love Way has, you know, a very, very wonderful set of values, you know, that we live by. What I've been spending, you know, most of the time doing now is making disciples. So in other words, I'm teaching the people so that they can also identify their God-given, you know, gifts and talents. And then we create a platform for them to exhibit that. But my question now yes. is, can those gifts be activated from an, from, especially when I'm talking from an, um, an African, African spiritual okay. side, can mm -hmm. they be given to you by your ancestors? Wow, that's amazing. Um, no. Okay. No. You see, you must understand that if you are a child of God, you are entitled to the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that's how it is. Okay. That's how it is. Is there a place for Sangomas in, in a church like that way? We Christians have got our values as stipulated in the yeah. Bible yeah. and we do not have to get involved in, 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 in 
such things. Even yeah. though we love the San Gomez, <laughs> you know, we love the San Gomez, and but but some practices, yeah. I, 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 I believe, are distorted. They 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 they're not right. Okay. As I sit in the car, I ask myself whether telling my mom that I'm going to a Sangoma is disrespectful, or will it be something that will benefit me and the family in the long run? Thank you. Hey. How are you? It's been long. Yeah. can't even remember exactly. I don't know, but the meat here is love it. very love nice. It. Love quality it. meat, you know. We must just get a few bites. Okay. Mums, you know, on the mountain, mm. we're having chats, serious chats. Yes. This is round two of serious chats. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm going to go and consult with the Sangoma. I know this is something that, you know, none of us have done in the family. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for me, I need answers. But also at the same time, I don't want to disrespect you as a parent. So would you be fine with that? I would say you decide, make a decision. It's yeah. your call. As long as you let me know, it process it journey or harm by it because it's not the kind of a journey that you can go all by yourself. I'm not sure mm. in that journey what would transpire. So also on your side, your paternal side, mm. or, or Auntie Baku. I think two of them, Bani mm. Piu. Auntie Stembi, mm. Sangoma. Auntie Piu was saying, I was to go by Sangoma, but I by Sayoni, so I was going to It's still that confusion. But I want to see for myself. We'll see. Well, let's eat here. <laughs> yeah, we're inquisitive, so go for it, mm. because at the end of the day, once you've got information, who knows, maybe you can help us in the family for yeah. all the questions that we've had, mm. to get more information and share with us. My biggest fear at this point is that I'm betraying my beliefs and the people who have helped me in my spiritual journey. But I can't deny the fact that I have an ancestral presence. And I guess it's in these peaceful moments where I can hear them, where I can feel them. But now I'm anxiously asking myself, will going to a Sangoma help me walk away feeling empowered? It's only truly hitting me now that I'm going to consult with the Sangoma and I have no clue what she has to say. I mean, could this be a moment that I find out that my ancestors expect me to do the work of Ubungoma or is there something else in store for me? As I go into the consultation, my mom sits in the car and patiently waits for me. You know, in all honesty, my mom has allowed for me to explore this journey, even though the outcome may be slightly uncertain. And when I finally meet Tabiso, she definitely shakes all stereotypes of what a Sangoma should look like. She strikes me as a modern Sangoma, 
with her youthful makeup, her sneakers, and her tattoo on her foot. My father is a priest, grew up in church, and all of that, so I still have all of that in me, that this is what I was taught in the church kind of perspective. But then they were still married with my mother for like almost 17 years, so it was a priest and a sangoma in the same household. And then when it comes to Ubungoma, Ubungoma is tradition. Um, it's something that you're born with. You don't just pick from a shell. And when it comes to the corporate world, when my calling came, it came when I was already started. So I started working and I decided that it's not, I can work both of them because, I mean, I can still do my consultations on weekends. But I think the only thing that makes all of these three come together is the people that are in my life who actually don't treat me different. They actually see Utabi, so there's no textbook for Ubungoma. There's no textbook for being African. It's just what you keep teaching them, the teachings going on. So Nkrumah and Tizio or Akla? Mize Ubuzo understand the culture yamu. Uze ngi ipumelele ilweni. Uze ngi sinze nimboli sinze na nimkani sinze na I ask your ancestors to actually look into your life and I tell you what they allow me to because I came to them with respect that your child is here to seek help. What should I do? You are such a loner kind of person. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well. The reason why Nogoba is alone is because of Lavanta Vashel Pesako, they're trying to protect you from all these other things, man. Yeah, well. Try to explain what I mean is everyone who comes in contact with you, they come with all their energies, and all these energies come and impact your life so mm -hmm. indirectly. Mm -hmm. So you pick up on those energies, and mm -hmm. that's why you're very quick to push people away. There's somewhat of a sigh of relief when Tabiso tells me that my ancestors do not expect me to be a Sangoma. What she brings up next about my father is something that makes me realize that my ancestors are truly present in this room because Tabiso could not have had any knowledge of what she's about to tell me. But Lomsindolona is gonna be a thing as well as some other view things Zivalegin because you might find with you, the father's side has something that they have for you, mm. but they can't go get to you because my eyes good they didn't do the right thing. Mm. He did not do the right thing. It's just with that thing mm. the father's side has to fix that for you. Okay. I can truly walk away from this whole experience feeling empowered feeling as though I'm coming to understand what identity means. I mean, it's a, it's a work in progress. It doesn't just end here. On a grand scheme of things, I mean, we have a history that's been dis disintegrating for the past 500 years. And I think it's, it's the most important thing to find yourself and you know, fill in those gaps. Um, and as much as they say that the political is personal, I've also realized that the spiritual is also political. If I truly have to be honest, what still eats at me is the fact that, you know, there's a lot of differences that I have to sort out with my dad. Um, and that's not easy to do at the moment because we have an incredibly strained relationship considering he left when I was one. So perhaps that's the next part of my journey. So I've, I'm trying to find myself and as Maya Angela once said, there's no greater agony 
than bearing an untold story inside of you.